Hello everybody. In some cases you may choose to daisy chain your props in order to maximize the amount of pixels that you use per controller. Now remember this is a personal choice. This is not something you have to do. In some cases you may uh, prefer to run one prop per port and again that's your decision. So what I'm going to do today though is show you how we daisy chain the props together in XLite software. If I go over here to this first mini tree and I select it, you can see I already have my start universe and channel selected here in the XLite software. Start channel 1 and universe number 1 itself. Now what I want to do in order to continue the daisy chain is to start to add props. So the next logical prop for me to add would be this mini star on the tree itself. I select this mini star here. I come over to my start channel. And what I want to do is I want to start this prop at the end of the mini tree I had just selected. So I come down to the drop down menu here. I search. I find mini tree number one. Select this. OK. And I now have these two props here daisy chain. The next logical prop in uh, progression would be mini tree number two. So I want to daisy chain mini tree number two to mini tree star number one. I simply select mini tree number two and I repeat the process. I come over to the start channel and make sure the end model is selected. And again, remember, we're going to mini tree star number one. I select this, and I now have three props daisy chained in succession. Moving on to the next logical choice again would be its mini star. So I simply select this, and as you can see, there's a pattern that I'm starting to repeat. I go into the control box here, end of model. I select mini tree number two. Select OK, and now I have four props daisy chained together. I continue on to mini tree number three. Select it from mini tree number two star. OK. I continue onward to the next star, which is on mini tree number and of course I want it attached to mini tree number three there. So again, I'm repeating the process. End of mini tree number three. Select OK. All three mini trees, all three mini tree stars are now daisy chained. I go to the last mini tree in the row. I select this to come off of mini tree number three star. OK. And to finish up this row in this particular port, I select the last mini tree star. Mini tree number four. Select OK. So now what I have daisy chained is mini tree number one. Mini tree star number one, mini tree two, mini tree star number two, three, three, four, and four. I could then go down and I could assign these under the controller connection to any port I would want. At a particular time, I would go ahead, select save, and I now have four mini trees, four stars, JZ chained together to run off of one port. 